Welcome to Honkton, a space for students made by students. Honkton is a web application built with React and Node.js to provide students with a platform to connect with each other, create and join groups, and share content. In this demo video, I'll be walking through the various pages of Honkton that have been built for our first sprint. To begin, I'll be signing up and creating an account. As you can see, the user can input their first name, last name, email, password, and password confirmation. And as the sign-up feature and the login features have been created using the Firebase API, Firebase ensures that the creators of this website cannot see the password. Since I've already created an account, I'll be clicking back to login, entering my email and password, and clicking on login. Now, we land on the landing page for Honkton. On the nav bar, you can see there are three buttons, events, forms, and profile. First, I'll be walking through events. Events has three components to it, events, my events, and create events. So let's first go to create events. Create events is where the user can create any event they'd like to host on our website. So I'll be writing demo video, demo, location, RCH302, participants 10, and press submit. The event has been successfully created as shown in the test toast message below. Next, the user can click on events, click on events, and view all the active events and also cancel events on this page. As you can see, there are many different events that users can join. If I click on an event that interests me, I can click on view event and look at the description, see who's hosted by, the date, location, participants, and the status of the event. I can also join the event, but I've already joined this event, so a toast message also pops up saying that you've already joined this event. So I can look for another event I'd like to join. Big four accounting firms. Press join event, and there we go, I've successfully joined the event. Next, I'll be showing you guys the My Events page. On the My Events page, you can view all the events that you are currently hosting, and you can also cancel the event, as is seen in the status below, see the participants in event, so currently there's one participant myself, and you can also edit the event and make any changes to it. So the event has been successfully edited, shown in the toast message below, and the page will refresh on its own and ed include the edit. Next, I'll be going on to forms, which is quite similar to events, where you can create a form. So demo video, it's great. This is great. Press submit. Form has been successfully created. I can go to my forms and see all the forms that I've created. I can also archive a form. When a user archives a form, other users can no longer comment on the form. They can also edit the form, make any changes they'd like to the form, which will reflect for all other users on the website. Lastly, we have forms. Forms is where you can see all the other different forms that have been created by the other users. I can click into a form and open it and see also the comments on a form. I can leave a comment, I love Oreos, press submit, and see that my comment has been added to the bottom of the page. As a user, if I want to delete my comments, I can also delete them. And as you can see, there we go. The comment is no longer there. Lastly, we'll be going to the profile settings. So I can go to my profile, where I can basically see my about me, year of study, program, interest, and co-op. As a part of the sprint, we've allowed users to edit their profile as well and create them as well. So if I just remove an exclamation mark and add a period, I can press save profile. At the toast message, it says profile successfully edited, refreshes the page, and shows you the new edited version. Next, you can go to settings, where you can update credentials and update account settings. Update credentials, again, uses Firebase, hence if you change your password, we cannot see it. Then, we can also go to update account status, where basically your account can be active or archived. If you're archived, you'll not be, no longer be able to create events, forms, or resources. So if I click on archive account, the account will be archived. And later on, you can also make archived accounts active. I clicked on the account and my account has been activated again. So that's a quick overview and a quick summary would be that we've created three sections to the events page, events, my events, create events, three sections to the form page, forms, my forms and create forms, and users are able to edit their profile, edit their settings, and also log out of the page. That was a quick walkthrough of Honkton.